Hope you've got your Twilight tees on, SVG news fans, because there's a new swoon-worthy vampire in town if you've got a PS5. If not, you could always square off against a different beloved movie monster in Fortnite. There's something out there waiting for us. And it ain't no man. No, in fact, it's a glitch in the latest update to Fortnite. Players have already found a way to hack the newest version of the game, according to a new video from YouTuber Glitch King. How, you might be wondering? A little trick I like to call... Uh, the Invisibility Cloak. No, oh, how magical. Epic Games pays homage to the fearsome Yautja Hunters, more commonly known as the Predators from the Predator series in Fortnite's version 15.21. The alien was introduced as a roaming boss on January 20th in Chapter 2 Season 5. After defeating it, players unlocked the Predator skin and its cloaking device. Normally, players can use the alien cloaking technology for just 30 seconds at a time with a 30-second cooldown. Equipping a weapon will automatically cancel the cloaking device and reveal the player. But as Glitch King pointed out, players can hack the cloak to make it last indefinitely. According to the YouTuber, after equipping the cloaking device, players will go invisible. When the invisibility cloak begins blinking, Glitch King said to disconnect your internet for about 15 to 20 seconds and then reconnect it. The process will reportedly allow your character to remain invisible throughout the duration of the match. Am I invisible? Can you see me? It's abundantly clear that the Predator Cloak needs some work. Sure, a faint outline of the character is still somewhat visible at close range, but it's nearly impossible to see farther away. The hunters from the Predator films managed to go invisible for seemingly indefinite periods when hunting down their prey. So, like, technically it's canonical. Non-canonical, non-canonical! She's gone crazy! Let's put her down! Fortnite has had plenty of glitches that players were quick to share and take advantage of. Glitch King's video began with a disclaimer that the videos are there to, quote, help game developers. It's possible Epic Games will disable the invisibility cloak until it can fix the glitch. But so far, nothing has been announced. So we finally... Thanks to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, the Resident Evil franchise has risen from the grave and re-entered the horror gaming limelight. Even though this reanimated popularity eventually resulted in critically acclaimed remakes of Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, Capcom also decided to continue the saga of Ethan Winters with Resident Evil Village. You can get a sneak peek of the game right now, but as with all power in the Resident Evil franchise, it comes with a price. Not a monetary one, mind you, but a toll nonetheless. Roll toll. Here's your toll, troll. The Resident Evil Village demo, also known as the Maiden demo, functions much like the Resident Evil 7 beginning hour demo. Instead of controlling Ethan Winters, you step into the shoes of an unrelated character known as the Maiden, hence the demo's name. Much like the way the beginning hour demo dropped players into the Baker family house, the Maiden is trapped in Resident Evil 8's set-piece location, Castle Dimitrescu, and she only has one objective, escape. However, the Maiden demo is far more limited since it takes away your ability to defend yourself. You can't attack or defend, but then again, the demo doesn't feature any enemies either. Eh, sort of. I won't last until dinner. <laughs> While the beginning hour demo gave audiences a taste of combat and the molded monsters, Maiden does not provide any such preview. Moreover, you can beat the Maiden demo in under 20 minutes. However, the demo's biggest obstacle for fans is its platform. Maiden is exclusive to PlayStation 5, which helps show off the game's next generation of beautiful graphics. Capcom really wanted to show off those ray trace puddles of blood, even though Resident Evil Village will also release on the PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC via Steam, these platforms did not receive a demo. However, the game's producer, Pete Fabiano, promised a separate new demo will launch on an undisclosed date in the spring. While this could imply non-PS5 owners will receive a demo unrelated to the Maiden experience, odds are decent that it will simply be an updated version. Capcom used a similar tactic with the beginning hour demo, which was updated several times to include more rooms and items. Perhaps the new demo will feature combat. I choose violence. If you don't have a PS5 and want to see what the Resident Evil Village Maiden demo is all about, you either have to wait patiently for the multi-platform demo and hope it actually is just an updated version, or you can watch one of the many YouTube content creators who have streamed their gameplay sessions. 